I had to do what I had to do to um, put off this civil commitment. Richard Osley says it was all part of his plan. Plead no contest to sexually assaulting Gary Founds, serve a few years in prison, and wait to see if the civil commitment law holds up. Three and a half years down the road, who knows? It may not even be such a thing as a civil commitment. Someone may challenge it, may be found unconstitutional. Anything can happen. The civil commitment law is supposed to take the most violent sex offenders and put them into rehab after they serve their prison time. The statute says 10 months before an inmate is released, they'll have a probable cause hearing. Since Osley is serving time for this new crime, he won't be affected by the new law. So today in court, a judge dismissed the hearing until 2005. Osley says this new law is just unfair. I think it's wrong because they're trying you not for what you've done, but what they think you would do. And that doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me. But it makes perfect sense to the victims, Gary Founds and Buck Miller, who are quick to respond to concerns that this new law may not be constitutional. Those people that are thinking that hasn't experienced uh, being attacked and assaulted violently. And the man's already proved he's a danger to society and that he's not redeemable. I think he needs to remain in custody. Osley's been serving the last 30 years in prison for kidnapping Martin Andrews. In 1973, he took Andrews into the Suffolk woods, chained him to an underground box, and sexually assaulted him for eight days. It was Andrews' mission that got this law funded, and Osley blames him for all of this and says he needs to get over what happened to him 30 years ago. What I did, I did. He's not maimed, he's not crippled, he's alive.